Hi guys, my name is Melissa, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about divisibility rules and divisibility by 9 and 3. So first of all, we're going to be going over divisibility by 9s and 3s. And so our first example says, is 14,382 divisible by 9? And so... First, it says, if the sum of a number's digits is divisible by 9, then the number is divisible by 9. And we're going to go over this um, concept later on when we talk about divisibility rules. But we're first going to start with 9s and 3s. And so, if the sum of a number's digit is divisible by 9, and the number is divisible by 9. So the sum of the digits are going to be 1 plus 4 plus 3 plus 8 plus 2. And so that's going to be 5 plus 3 plus 8 plus 2, which is 8 plus 8 plus 2. So it's 8 plus 10, which is 18. Now 18 divided by 5 is going to be 2, so it is divisible. And so since the sum of the number is divisible, that means that this number itself is divisible by 9. And then we'll take a look at our next example. Is 20,200 divisible by 3? Similarly, if the sum of a number's digit is divisible by 3, then the number is also divisible by 3. So for both um, dividing by nines and dividing by nines and threes. If the sum of the digits is either divi divisible by nine or divisible by three, then the number is going to be divisible by nine or three. And so let's try looking for the sum of this number. It's going to be two plus zero plus two plus zero plus zero. So it's going to be four. And 4 divided by 3 is going to give us a remainder of 1. And that tells us that 4 is not the sum, is not divisible by 3. And that tells us that this number is not divisible by 3, so it's going to be no. Now using what we just learned, we're going to go over 53. And so it says, circle every number below that is divisible by 3. So we're going to look for the sum of the units of the number. Of, um, we're going to look for the sum of the digits of the number and see if it's divisible by 3 or not. So the sum of the digits of this number is going to be 7 plus 0 plus 2, so it's 9. And 9 is divisible by 3, since 9 divided by 3 is 3. And so, 702 is going to be divisible by 3, since the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Now we're going to look at 1,689. So the sum of the digits is going to be 1 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9. So it's going to be 7 plus 8 plus 9, and that is going to be 15 plus 9, which is 24. Now 24 divided by 3 is 8, so 24, or the sum, is divisible by 3. So this number is going to be divisible by 3. Now taking a look at 8,213, the sum of the digits are going to be 8 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3, so it's going to be 10 plus 1 plus 3, so it's going to be 14. And 14 divided by 3 is going to be 4 plus a remainder of 2. Since we have a remainder, we know that the sum is not divisible by 3. And so this number is not going to be divisible by 3. For 14, 
for 14,695, we're again going to look at the sum of the digits. So we have 1 plus 4 plus 6 plus 9 plus 5. And so that's going to be 5 plus 6 plus 9 plus 5, which is 11 plus 9 plus 5. So it's 25. And 25 divided by 3 is going to give us 8 plus a remainder of 1. And since we have a remainder, um, the sum is not divisible by 3, so eventually the number is also not divisible by 3. Now we have 198,664. If we look for the sum of the digits, that's going to give us 18 plus 12 plus 4, which is 34. And 34 divided by 3 is going to give us 11 plus the remainder of 1. Again, we have a remainder, so the sum is not divisible by 3, so this number is also not divisible by 3. Now, looking at 594,231, we're going to look for the sum of the digits. And that's going to give us 18 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1, which is 24. And 24 is divisible by 3 because it gives us 8 without a remainder. So this number is divisible by 3. Now the next problem says circle every number below that is divisible by 9. So again, we're going to add the, we're going to take the sum of the digits. So the sum is going to be 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1, no remainder. So this number is divisible by 9. For 3,152, the sum of the digit is going to be 3 plus 1 plus 5 plus 2. So that's going to be 11. And 11 divided by 9 is going to give us a remainder of 2. So this number is not going to be divisible by 9. This sum of the digits of this number is going to be 2 plus 8 plus 5 plus 3, which is 18. 18 divided by 9 is 2, so this number is divisible by 9. The sum of the digits is going to be 1 plus 6 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2. So that's going to be 21. And 21 divided by 9 gives us a remainder of 3. And so it's not divisible by... 9, and so this number is also not divisible by 9. The sum of this, um, sum of the digits of this number is going to be 3 plus 7 plus 4 plus 1 plus 8 plus 4, and so that's going to be 27, and 27 divided by 9 is 3, so this number is divisible by 9. Now we're going to take the sum of the, the number of this, the digits of this number, and so we have 4 plus 8 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 7. And that is going to be 28. Now 28 divided by 9 gives us the remainder of 1. So this number is not divisible by 9. Now I know that the pace might be a little fast, but we have a lot to cover today. So if you guys have any questions or if you need to clarify anything, feel free to pause the video and then come back or go back to any problems that you thought was a little confusing. But we'll move on to the next question. So it says, um, 4-1-A-6 is a four-digit number that is divisible by 9. Which digit is A? 
And so we know that the sum of 4 plus 1 plus 8 plus 6 is divisible by 9. And so 4 plus 1 plus 8 plus 6 is going to be 11 plus 8. And the closest multiple of 9 to 11 is going to be 9 times 2, which is 18. So A is going to be 18 minus 11, which is 7. So A is going to be 7. Now for problem 56, it says, list all of the digits that could replace B to make 20B0 a four-digit number that is divisible by 3. So 2 plus 0 plus B plus 0 must be divisible by 3. And so that's going to be 2 plus b. And so multiples of 3 can be um, 3, 6, 9. And the next multiple, which is 12, is going to require b to be 10. But b is b can only be from 0 to 9 since it's part of a number, since it's a digit. So the only multiples we're going to use are 3, 6, 9. And so if 2 plus b is 3, b is 1. If 2 plus b is 6, b is 5, sorry, b is 4. And if 2 plus b is 9, then b is 7. So the possible um, solutions for B can be 1, 4, or 7. Problem 57 says, how many three-digit multiples of 9 can be made by arranging three of the four digits below? So it says three-digit multiples of 9. So first we need to find com um, a combination of three numbers where when we add them together, that can be divided by 9. So if we have 1 plus 3 plus 5, that is a 9. So it is divisible by 9. So we can use these number combinations. If we have 1 plus 5 plus 7, that gives us 13. It's not divisible by 9. So this combination is not going to work. Now instead, if we have 1 plus 3 plus 7, that's going to be 11, also not divisible by 9, so that combination would not work. Now if we have 3 plus 5 plus 7, that is 15, so also not divisible by 9. So the only possible combination of numbers we can use are 1, 3, and 5. And so we can have... Based on that number, we can have 135, 153, then if the 3 goes into our, so I'll just tell you guys, um, I'll just write it out so that it's not confusing for you guys. So we're going to um, have 1 as our hundreds place, and if we have 3 here, then we can have 5. Keeping the 1 in the hundreds place, we can have 153 as well. Now that's all of our options that are available when the 1 is in the hundreds place. So now we're going to have 3 in the hundreds place, and that's going to give us numbers like 351. Now 5 can go in the hundreds place to give us 513 and 531. So we have six possible numbers that can be made. And so we have six three digit multiples. It says Grog wants to write a multiple of nine that uses only ones and twos as digits. 
What is the smallest multiple of nine that Grog can write using only ones and twos? So for 58, adding the digits of a multiple of nine gives us a sum that is also a multiple of nine, since the sum must be divided by nine. And so since the sums of ones and twos cannot be zero, the sum of Grog's digits must be at least at least nine, since nine is the smallest multiple of nine. And so, if he has, um, if Grog's number has fewer than four digits, the largest is going to be 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which only adds up to 8. So that tells us that the smallest number that Grog should have are um, it's going to be five digits at least. And so we have two plus, we have two, 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 two. So sorry, um, we need five digits. I accidentally drew six lines, but it can be um, 22,221. And that is going to give us 9, a sum of 9, so it is divisible by 9. And then we get the smallest number of all possible arrangements. We know that the number we the numbers we should use are 4 twos and 1 1. So the smallest combination we can make is putting that 1 into the into the 10,000th place. So the smallest multiple of nine that Grog can write using only ones and twos is gonna be 12,222. Now this problem was a little tricky. And for problem 59, it says how many three digit multiples of three can be made by arranging three of the four digits below? So we're going to look for um, combination to three numbers that when we add them together, the sum is going to be divisible by three. So if we use two, four, and six, the sum is going to be 12, so it is divisible by three. If we use two, four, and eight, the sum is going to be 14, so it's not divisible by three. So that combination of numbers would not work. If we have four, six, and eight, that is going to give us 18. So it is divisible by three. And so the possible numbers that we can use are two, four, six, or going to be 246 or 468 and so now using those numbers we're going to make three digit multiples and so um, our first case is where we use combinations 2, 4, and 6. So possible numbers that can be made are 246, 264, again using the same hundreds place and alternating method that we did in the previous question. 426, 462, 624, and 642. So that is going to be six possible ways. And another combination of numbers can be made using four, six, and eight. So that's going to be 468, 486, 648, 684, 846, and 864. So that's also going to be six other combinations. So adding those two together, we're going to get 12 different three-digit combinations, or 12 different three-digit multiples of three. Now it says S, T, and U are different digits. 
Each of the three digit numbers, STU, TUS, and UST is even, and each is divisible by nine. What is S plus U plus T? S plus T plus U. So first, S plus T plus U. Um, the sum must be a multiple of nine, since the sum must be divisible by nine. And then since the sum of s plus t plus u is even, um, the units digit is even because each of the three digit numbers is even. So we're basically adding even numbers and that gives us an even result. So s plus t plus u is going to be even, so that's another clue that we found. And then the sum of the digits of a three digit number cannot be greater than 9 plus 9 plus 9, since that is the greatest three digit number. So that the maximum sum is going to be 27 for any three digit number. And so the sum of the digits of a three digit multiple of nine can only be um, multiples of nine that are less than 27, like nine, 18, or 27. And of these, only 18 is an even sum. And we know that the sum must be even because we're adding even numbers. And so S plus T plus U is gonna be 18. Now we're going to move on to reviewing divisibility rules. So in the previous um, pages, we learned divisibility rules for 3 and 9. So for 3, a number is divisible by 3 when the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. Again, similar for 9, when the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, the number itself is divisible by 9. And so for two, if the units digit is even, so the tens, so the ones place or the unit digit is even, any even number is divisible by two. Examples are even numbers like 408 or 602. For three, which we just did, the sum of the digits is a multiple of three. And then for four, the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by four. So for example, for any number, we look at the last two digits. Zero, eight is gonna be eight, so eight is divisible by four. 60 is divisible by four, so the numbers are divisible by four. For five, the units digit or the last digit ends in zero or five, right? Like 985 or 670, so it ends in zero or five to be divisible by five. For nine, we learned that the sum of the digits is a multiple of nine. For 10, the units digit or the last digit is zero, like 740 or 20,860. And in this case, since it ends in zero, it's divisible by 10, but it's also divisible by five because it ends in zero. For 25, the numbers formed by the last two digits is divisible by 25, like the last two being 75 or 25. And then for 100, it ends in zero, zero. So looking at the ending, it has to be zero, zero. And then for one digit numbers, we include leading zeros where necessary to use these tests. For example, zero can be zero, zero, and eight can be 08. And 08 is divisible by four. And so if the number does not satisfy the divisibility test that we just talked about, 
then the number is not divisible by n. So for example, for 5, if the unit's digit ends in 1 or 2, then it doesn't follow the divisibility rule. So that number would not be divisible by 5. And so we have a few practice problems. So for problem 61, it says fill in the blanks in the number below to make a four-digit number that is divisible by both 9 and 25. So to be divisible by 9, 4 plus the blank plus 7 plus the blank is divisible by 9. Then for it to be divisible by 25, we're going to look at the last two digits. So 7 blank must be divisible By 25 and that is that number can only be 75 and so we're gonna put a 5 there and that means that 4 plus blank plus 7 plus 5 is basically gonna be 16 plus blank and that must be divisible by 9 so let's write out multiples of 9 so it's 9 18 27 so this blank must be 2. So our answer is going to be 4,275. And then for problem 62, um, the four-digit number must be divisible by 4, 5, and 9. And so for it to be divisible by 4, 5, and 9, to be divisible by 5, the last digit must be either 0 or 5. But then to be divisible by 4, we look at the last two digits. And if the last two digits um, end with the 5, there's no number that's divis um, there's no number that ends with the 5 that is divisible by 4. So 5 cannot be an option for the last digit. So it's eventually going to be narrowed down to zero. Um, then for this to be divisible by four, the number must be either 40 or 60. I mean, either 20, 40, 60, or 80. And so out of those, um, the sum of the digits must be divisible by 9. So 5 plus 7 plus 0 plus a blank plus 0 must be divisible by 9. And so that's going to be 12 plus blank. So if we have blank as either 2, 4, 6, and 8, we're going to try the options. So 12 plus 2 is 14, is not divisible by 9, so 2 is not an option. 12 plus 4 is 16, not divisible by 9. 12 plus 6 is 18, so it is divisible by 9. 12 plus 8 is 20, so not divisible by 9. So the number is going to be 5,780. Oh. 5,760. Sorry for the confusion. Now we're going to look at problem 63. So, in how many ways can you arrange the four digits below to make a four digit number that is even and divisible by three? And so, for it to be even, um, the number must end with an even number. So it should either end in 2 or 4. So it should end in 2 or 4. And then it should be divisible by 3. And so the sum of the digits are going to be the sum of 2, 3, 4, 9, regardless of the order. So the sum is going to be 18. It is divisible by 3. 
So any combination using these numbers would work. So we're first going to look for a case where it ends with 2. So possible numbers where it where the number ends with 2 is going to be 300 3492, so 3,492. Switch these two, so it's going to be 3,942. And then we switch the thousands place, so it's going to be 4,392 or 4,932. Then it can be 9,342 or 9,432. And now we can do the same thing for when the last digit is four. So we have 2,394 or 2,934. We also have 3,294, 3,924, or 9,234, 9,324. So those are going to be 6 plus 6 possible combinations, so we have 12 combinations, or 12 possible 4-digit numbers. Now problem 64 says, what is the smallest multiple of 3 that uses only the digits 8 and 9 with at least one of each? So multiples of 3. That means that the sum of the three digit, well, I never said three digits, so to solve this problem, the sum of the digits of the multiple of three must always be a multiple of three, so the sum of the digits must be divisible by three. And then we use the digits eight and nine at least once. And so we must make at least a two digit number like 89 or 98. But then here the sum is going to be 17, so it's not divisible by 13. I mean, it's not divisible by 3 because the sum is going to be 17. So a two digit number would not work. Now we're going to look for three digit numbers. And so we can either have two eights and one at one nine or we can have two nines and one eight when we have two eights and one nine the sum of the digits is going to be 27 well it's going to be 16 plus 9 so it's going to be 20 so we, we're going to have 16 plus 9 which is going to be 25. It's not divisible by 3, so that won't work. When we have two 9s and one 8, it's going to be 26, also not divisible by 3. So now we're going to have to move on to four-digit numbers. Now for four-digit numbers, we can have... We can have... 1 8 and 3 9s, 2 8 2 9s, or 3 8 and 1 9 And so we're going to test out the sum. If we have 1 8 and 3 9s, the sum is going to be 27 plus 8, so it's 35, not divisible by 3. When we have 2 8 and 2 9s, it's going to be 16 plus 18, which is 34. So it's not divisible by 3. And so when we have 3 8 and 1 9, we're going to have 24 plus 9, which is going to be 33. So it is divisible by 3. And so that tells us that we use a combination of 3 8 and 1 9. And then the smallest multiple is going to be where um, the larger digits are the smaller numbers. 
So the smallest multiple of three that uses only eight and nine with at least one of each and divisible by three is gonna be 3,000, sorry, so it's gonna be 8,000. 889. Now just for more practice, we're going to name the smallest prime factor of each number. The smallest prime factor, so we have 1 times 736, but 1 is not a prime number. So we have 2, and this number is divisible by 2 because if we look at the last digit, it's six, and six is divisible by two. So the smallest prime num prime factor is gonna be two in this case. Then for 1,625, we have one times 1,625, but again, one is not a prime number. Um, and then this, um, for three, we'll see if it's divisible by three. The sum of the digits is going to be 14, so it's not divisible by three. Since the number ends with five, it can be divided by five. And so five is going to be the smallest prime factor. Now for 67, um, for 67, we have 1 times 217, and then we're going to see if it's divisible by 3. And so 2 plus 1 plus 7 is 10, so it's not divisible by 3. And then the... It's not divisible by four because the last two digits is not divisible by four. It's not divisible by five because the last digit is not zero or four. And so um, we don't have a test for six or seven, but then six anyways is not a prime number. So the next prime number we're gonna test out is seven. So we're just going to try to use division for this, and we know that that works out. So 7 is going to be the smallest prime factor. For 81,135, we have 1 times itself. We're going to see if 3 works. So 8 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 is going to be 18, and it is divisible by 3. So 3 is going to be the smallest prime factor. And that was it for our lesson today. And I hope you guys had a fun time learning today's lesson. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!